we started a family in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, had one son there. We moved to New York City, had our other two children there. Career was going great. Religious activities were very important to me, but I didn't really know Christ at all. We moved to Florida in 2003. And then in 2005, uh, a business partnership that I had came crashing down. I was losing it because my security at that point really was in the comfort of our beautiful home and my life was collapsing in my own mind. So my brother invited us to church and it was a couple weeks before Christmas. At the end of the sermon, he mentioned this Lamb's Book of Life and I just got up out of my seat and I walked forward and I remember standing there and the weight that I had been carrying, it just melted away. And I left there so at peace. And I just knew at that point I wanted what she had. And so uh, we came to the Christmas service when he gave the call. I think I was the first one up just saying, God, I, I know you're real now. And you've been alongside me my whole life. So we were saved for about nine months, and it was at a Saturday night service where Pastor Stefan said, there's a need for foster parents. And we had an empty bedroom. And so I, my heart just broke. And I knew we needed to do something, but I really wanted it to be from God. So I decided I'm not gonna say anything to Kevin, and if he came to me, then I would know this was from you, Lord. It was a few days like Michelle said, until I went to her and said, you know, honey, I can't stop thinking about this. And it was kind of his unveiling to us that it was time to, to move forward. And I was so excited. I called four kids the next day. We went through the classes and we met some great couples there who have really become like family to us. We had had many other short-term placements and we got a call one day that there was a little boy Sure enough, we got to safe place and I saw that little boy and I just could not believe that this was the little boy that I would get to take care of. He was so beautiful and round and just everything about him was beautiful. And so we took him home. We had Ryan in our home for almost a year and we were just overjoyed with him. Our kids were overjoyed with him and we knew that that was, again, God's God's confirmation that, yes, open your home uh, to be his parents, to be his forever family. So, uh, you know, once we adopted Ryan, it was like, all right, cool, Lord, here we are, four kids, through four kids, we're done, this is great, thank you for this blessing. I know this is like the best thing that could have ever happened. And then one day, Kevin gets a phone call. I looked at the caller ID and I, it was child net. So I answered the phone and, uh, and she proceeded to tell me that Ryan had a little sister who had been born a few weeks ago that was in the hospital, in a local hospital. And I remember just tears flowing down my face at that moment. When we saw her, we knew she was ours and she was Ryan's biological sibling. And there was no way she wasn't gonna be in our home. So we fostered Gabby for about six months, and because we had already adopted her biological brother, the process moved a little faster than with Ryan, and uh, it was sometime in early spring of uh, 2009 that we were able to adopt Gabby and also bring her into our permanent family. God's call for us was to become foster and adoptive parents, but we also know that that's not everybody's call. There's an opportunity to volunteer. There's an opportunity to donate things for the thrift store, which all the proceeds from the thrift store, the Second Chance Thrift Store, go to four kids. And now we're opening a new boutique, which is also gonna go to benefit four kids. So there's so many different ways to listen to the call from God to help the modern day orphan. I, mean, I think abundant is the perfect word to describe our life <laughs> and the lives with our friends. I mean, when we get together now, because our other friends have adopted two and three children, it's so chaotic, it's crazy. But at the same time, it's, it's so peaceful to know that you're in God's will, that you, you heard his voice, you said yes, 
and that he had this amazing thing waiting for you.